Hi, welcome back to my channel. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you to all who have served. This is a day for remembering those and that's definitely what I'm going to be doing. It's also a day off and so welcome in the crazy world that's going on right now. So we are gonna go have a picnic later and I'm very grateful for that, very excited. Most parks around LA have reopened um, very much with like social distancing and everything. But I thought a picnic would be great because we can set out our blanket and stay well away from other people. And this dress basically looks like it's made out of a picnic blanket. So ever since I got it, I think like a year ago, I've been like, I need to go on a picnic in this dress. And today it's finally gonna happen. And I thought I'd bring you guys with us so I could show you our picnic spread and everything. But first we're gonna do a couple of quick unboxings. Always fun to do around here. And I need to show you some things. So first of all, let me finally share what I got at Sephora. They had their sale, what was that, like a month or two ago? <laughs> Time is so confusing now. Um, and you guys kept asking what I was gonna get and I really didn't know. I finally placed an order like the last day of the sale because you know, finances are so uncertain right now and I hadn't saved up like in the past to do like a huge Sephora haul. But I did have enough saved up to refill some of my all-time favorites. I might have shown you these products before, but I had to answer the burning questions of what I purchased in the sale. So first of all, I got a Shiseido eyelash curler. I feel like I've tried so many eyelash curlers, and this is just the best one by far. Like, the curl it gives is insane, and I've never had an angle where it pulled on my eyelashes. Like, I hate that feeling like you might rip your eyelashes out. I've never had that, so it's just really well structured maybe just for my eye shape i don't know but i love this curler it's more expensive obviously than other ones i have some dollar store ones but the difference is very big and i think it would last forever my last one lasted like seven years but i had run out of the replacement pads and it was kind of gunked up that like mascara that just wouldn't clean off anymore so i decided to finally replace it and i'm so happy to have that <laughs> I also replaced the Josie Marin SPF. This is my go-to daily moisturizer since the beginning of time. Like since I first got into skincare, it's a heavenly moisturizer. It has argan oil, so it's just very smooth and hydrating. The SPF is a lifesaver. I wear it every single day in Southern California. I swear by it. That was the box that it was in. I also restocked two of my favorite lip balm. We've talked about it so much, but it's the Bite Agave Lip Balm. And they did change the formula a little bit recently. The price went down a little bit recently. And I'm on board with the new formula. I'm on board with the new price. And I just, something about that stuff is so good for my lips. For my samples, I got a Benefit Gimme Brow. I don't think this is what I asked for, but I'm pretty thrilled that this is my sample because I love this product. Not sure how it's gonna work as a sample. It's kind of weird. <laughs> and a perfume skylar isle this is definitely not what i asked for but that's okay let's see how it is it's nice it smells almost more like a men's scent it has bergamot card cardamom and sandalwood it smells really good i like it okay then i got two foundations um, this one's my all-time favorite foundation, Clinique Beyond Perfecting. It's in a nice price point for a higher-end foundation. So, so smoothing and perfecting. Every time you guys comment that my skin looks good, what foundation, foundation, it's always this one. And I'm trying a different shade. I got it in ivory because I felt like what I had was a little too dark. It's so hard to buy shades online, so we'll see if I regret that, but... It just blended into my hand perfectly, so that's a good sign. Although my face and my hand are sometimes very different colors. And then I also replaced this one, which is an all-time favorite, IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is their full coverage. I swear it's like a foundation, even though it's a CC cream. Like, it really gives good coverage. And, oh, it says inside the box, you are beautiful. And I get this in the shade Light. And it works very, very well and it's priced like a higher end foundation. So I just don't even think of it as anything but a nice foundation. And then here's the thing I'm so excited about. I wanted to replace one of my all time favorite perfumes ever, Amazing Grace. 
And this set, the sets at Sephora are always such a good deal. Like this one was $58. Normally, if you bought these individual items, it'd be $95. And then of course, if it's during the sale, you get 20% off, so it's an even bigger savings. And it worked out to the price of this whole set, which has a full-sized shower gel, full-sized lotion, and full-sized perfume, worked out to less than just the perfume price. So it's like, I was just gonna buy the perfume, but obviously I might as well get this whole set. And I feel so satisfied when like I take a shower, my soap smell matches the lotion I put on after the shower, matches the perfume that I spritz on, it's like, you really feel like you have your shit together when you're in matching scents. It's kind of like when your bra matches your underwear. I don't know. It's like a, it's a good feeling. It's like you're ready to face the world. Um, and the last item in here is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. Another thing I always talk about. I really like it. It's a teeny tiny mascara. I use it just on my lower lashes and it never transfers. I never get those like black mascara bags under my eyes by... 5 p.m. or whatever. So this is a makeup must for me. I'm very happy to have that restocked. And that was everything. Nothing that I'm trying is new except for that shade of my foundation, but I just wanted to like make some very specific purchases rather than go crazy because this just doesn't feel like the time for that. <laughs> so that's what I got at Sephora. I hope that answers your questions on that. And then I got a gift from a friend that I was so excited about. I had to share it, but also I had to share it because I have gotten more messages about this item. Messages, comments, DMs, tags, emails, because it's like, so Charlotte. <laughs> and I can't tell you the self-control that I was exhibiting that I hadn't purchased it, purchased it for myself yet, because I was seriously getting tagged on Instagram like a hundred times a day, and which I love. I love that you guys know me so well. You're totally right. This item was so me. But every time somebody tagged me, I was like, <sighs> I'm gonna wait till I put the money aside for it. I'm not just gonna like splurge and put it on a credit card or something. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. And then my sweet friend Judy sent it to me because she got one for herself and saw that it was like, so me. And that just, oh my God, that blew me away. That was so sweet. All right, I'm building it up a lot, but look, you can tell by the box how beautiful it is. And this is from the brand Scentsy and it's part of their, they have like, I think a little Cinderella line because in the past I had purchased the Cinderella wax melts, even though I didn't have a wax melter um, and those Cinderella car scent, which smells really good. And then they came out with this and oh my gosh, they open up and the box says, dream is a wish your heart makes. My heart had a dream <laughs> and this is it. Look at that. And then you open it up and this really pretty picture is in here. I'm gonna, I mean, I could like frame that. That's really pretty. I love that scene. I love the carriage. I mean, you guys know I love the carriage. I have a tattoo of it. Like to me, that's just the most iconic emblem from Cinderella, more than the glass slipper, more than anything. Like, uh, it just gives me all the feels. Oh my gosh, so I'm so excited. It's so beautiful already. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is way, this is already more gorgeous than I realized. Like it's, I should have realized that it would be nice ceramic because it obviously needs to handle heat, but oh, it's so pretty. I almost have like a tear coming to my eye. Like I collect all things in the shape of her carriage. So this is just such a special, special edition. Oh my gosh. This is like the little tray for the wax and it has little icons like the clock and oh my gosh, this is so special. I'm so excited. Okay, assembling it was super easy. All I had to do was put the lid on it, but I like have butterflies right now at how beautiful this is in person. Oh my gosh. So you put the wax in here and it warms up, melts the wax and like fills your house with amazing aromas. But uh, I had drooled over this in pictures so many times when people would tag me and things. And I just really actually am blown away in person by like how high quality and gorgeous it is. I, I'm afraid my video won't do it justice either, but this is so, so special. Ju Judy, thank you so much. I usually don't show when friends send gifts because I never want anyone to feel like I expect anyone to send me anything. Like even a postcard just blows me away. You guys are so sweet to ever do that. But this, I really felt an obligation to show you because <laughs> so many people have told me about it and I asked her if it would be okay. So this is my new baby. I'll show you plugged in because it glows. It glows from the inside too. <sighs> I really love this. 
Um, so I'm glad that I was able to finally share with the world that I do now own this thing and you were totally right that it was perfect for me and I'm obsessed with it. Um, and I'll put the link below, of course, for everything that I just discussed. And we can get on with our fun picnic Memorial Day festivities. I'm gonna show you my picnic spread. Oh, first I'm gonna show you this all lit up. Okay, oh my gosh. You know how I'm so into twinkly lights and like cozy lighting in the evenings? This, this gives me like Christmas tree vibes because it's such that perfect, calm, ambient lighting. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And as you can see, it's gonna be right at home here with all of my Cinderella paraphernalia. So, oh, I'm so excited. All right, it's gonna be hard to leave, but I need to go on a picnic. I'll be back later. So I'm going on a picnic and this is what I'm going to bring. I'm so excited to have this adorable little picnic. Obviously I have a theme with the red checks. This uh, tablecloth was one of those ones that you can wipe clean that's like padded and it was in the Target dollar spot for so cheap. So I thought that was a really good find for this summer. And then I also got a kite at Target because flying a kite is just the most happy activity, especially when it's a bright yellow sunshine. <laughs> And this cooler is so awesome. It's by the Igloo brand. And they released a like retro cooler line. One of them is mint green and orange. It's so cute. It's very 90s vibes. And then I love this one with the primary colors. Very, very retro. So that's what we use as our picnic basket. And I also like these because it's a hard top. So you can use it like a tabletop kind of. So I've got that with some ice packs, and then these are the snacks we'll be bringing. This is a watermelon salad with just like a really simple dressing of olive oil and lime juice. And then I topped it with feta and fresh mint. This is like a go-to for me, it's always really yummy. Deviled eggs, of course, classic, and we really like paprika, so went to town, but this is just, um, you know, kind of the basic classic deviled egg recipe. And I made this apple cake which I just took out of the oven, so I need to get it out of the pan. But this is so good. It's got swirls of cinnamon sugar and like little crunchy pieces in it and really delicious. I will try to put links for all these recipes that I'm using, by the way. This is some homemade bread. It's actually a recipe that Nate's mom used to make when he was a kid. So that was really fun to make an old family recipe just to have some fresh homemade bread with us. And for drinks, I have it's a big old jar of iced tea with mint and lemon inside. We have an old fashioned glass bottle of Coke. Actually, this is the Mexican Coke, so it's the delicious Coke that has real sugar in it. So that's a fun picnic treat, and then just some water. And that's it. I feel like the main ingredients for a good picnic are bread, eggs, fruit, and dessert. That's kind of what I, the formula I like to follow. Um, and then I have some silverware, some reusable straws, and that's it. Just gonna pack it up and go enjoy. Do you wanna acknowledge your display here? <laughs> I don't know what to say for myself. You know, they've I mean, already seen they've everything. Already seen everything. Yeah. Well, Nate got the kite in the air. And so pretty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> you need me to feed you? Oh, I devil, geez. I oh, made geez. a devil of it. Nathaniel! Oh, no, I'm what losing my... What have you done? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Nice. Nate has found a way to fly the kite while lying down. Lying down. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Just pure heaven on earth. So relaxed.